Hey guys, welcome back. The last day for Vegas. Right now, we're actually leaving the latest that we've ever left. It is pretty much almost four o'clock. Only thing we're doing today, we're running over to Caesars. Um, I'm gonna try roulette and we're gonna get some souvenirs probably from there. And then um, we're gonna head over to the zip line. Probably do that maybe around 5, 5.30. Um, and then we're going to see the Matt Franco show. And that starts at 7. That should end at about 8.30. And then we're heading back over here, pretty much just grabbing our bags, throwing in any souvenirs that we bought into the bag, and then heading to the airport. Our flight starts to board at 10.50, and I think the takeoff is 11.30. Um, so that's pretty much what we're doing today. So it should be a pretty short video. Um, I don't think I can record during Matt Franco, so there won't be any footage of that. Last day in Vegas, we're all packed up, the room is empty, and uh, yeah, let's go. I feel like we've been here before. Uh, last time. This is our first time coming here? Last time. Last time coming here. Oh, well that's sad now. Alright, so the house always wins. Um, I bet $200 at Caesars, and I walked away with... Lovely gifts from the gift <laughs> shop. I mean, I just wish you understood the rules ahead of time. No, 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 no. I understood the rules. You understood. My confusion things, yeah. was I didn't know that the minimum bet had to be. So, like, for example, I, I, I don't know what the, what the technical term is, but, like, the, the, the outer rim of the table where the black, red, even, odd, all those bets, I didn't know that that had to be the minimum. So, like, I was confused as to how many chips I could put down on the on those i thought i could just put down i would say like you know a chip on black and then a chip on yeah. uh the, the numbers at my first uh two games i was like i didn't know how much money i could put down on black so i'm just gonna not do it so i did it and i ended up losing and then the third game and you the just third game i was in. like you know what i'm gonna just go all on black and it was a red nine so yeah, um, I bet $202 because it was a dollar at Aria and a dollar at Paris on slots. Lost those and I spent 200 today and uh, it's fine. I have nothing to say. So uh, but next time I will play roulette because it was fun. It was just my thing. It was fun to watch. It was my fun thing fun. was, it's amazing how I never lost money so quickly. I was sitting at a table for like what, five minutes and 200. A ball spins, it lands. So yeah, so let's head to the zip line. I am $200 poorer. Caesars got my money. So we mentioned this map at Caesars. So what you do is a touch screen. Let's say we want to go to the Atlanta show. You just tap that and it lights yeah, right up here. to where you got to go, right? Same thing goes for like a restaurant. So if I want to go to the Cheesecake Factory, I just tap kind of Cheesecake Factory. Kind a bad example because that also stops there. And it goes right there. And then it lights up, it lights up red for the restaurants. So it kind of walks you through everywhere that you would want to go. So it says, you know, you are here, which is the star, and it kind of lights up Here's your a way. Escalator right here. Yeah. So it, it lights up. It lights up your way. So it's pretty cool. Our last ride on the spiral escalator. We. I know. And I just uh, also stopped by the Ray-Ban store at the forum shops, and I was speaking to a representative there named Kimberly. Mm -hmm. She was amazing. Me and her bonded uh, right away. She was from New York, and she actually wants to move back to New York. And we were just talking about Vegas and New York, how she hates it, and how she wants to move back to New York so badly. Like, it was amazing. And she even gave me her Instagram so that, we, so that I could follow her. Um, Definitely want to keep in touch with her. Yeah, no, she, awesome. it was amazing. Even that was coworker also who's a, like, who's, who's a father. In fact, his uh, daughter was in the mall and came in and gave him and said, oh yeah. my God, uh, she just spent $100. I was free she was to spend more. I never had a store interaction like that before where she was just... Oh, the, the She went above like, and beyond. Yeah, like, it, was, like it was amazing. Yeah. Like, in fact, I think she spent more time cleaning my glasses just so we could keep the conversation going. Like it was like it was that was absolutely amazing. Nothing like that has in a store has ever really happened to me before. So let's head. We're right across from the link now. Yeah, there's Matt. Let's go station. there so I could do my zip lining. Three hours later. Back at the hotel, um, I'm sure that was a huge jump cut. I think the last thing I filmed was me and Caesars saying that I lost money. From there, we went to the fly link. Now here's the issue with that. I think I got in line a little bit before six. 
the Matt Franco show started at 7. And I wasn't even flying yet until, I think, a little bit after 7. Um, the ride itself is a few seconds. <laughs> yeah, zip lining, it's a few seconds. But the wait was really long. Once they secretly weigh you and they give you your wristband, you're considered in the attraction. So there's no refund, there's no, you're in it. So first they have you wait on like on that level. And then I think they wait until they fill up all the rows, which is I think is like 30 people, if not more. And then one group goes up in an elevator to where the zipline actually is. You hang out there, you're again waiting in a long line, they finally put you in your harness, and then you wait a few more minutes for it's your turn to go up to the actual zipline, get on the zipline, and you go. The actual experience though was great. I did the Superman style or the superhero style, so I was uh, on my stomach. I read online something about that they sell GoPro videos. I didn't see anything about that. I wasn't strapped into a GoPro. I don't know what that was about. Um, and the only photo that they really take of you is on a green screen. That's like the thing here in Vegas. Before you do anything, they take your photo for a green screen so you could buy it after your thing. Um, we, I didn't do that. In fact, she asked me, she's like, oh, do you want to take a picture? I was like, no. We did end up being a little bit late for Matt Franco. We walked in at about 7.15. We didn't really miss much. Uh, we missed the beginning of like the opening um, act, which is really just uh, him uh, getting a $100 bill from an audience member and having the audience member, you know, sign it. But that's really all we missed. As far as the actual, you know, act and everything, we saw it. Uh, Matt Franco was quite enjoyable. Like he, at one point, like transported from the stage to like the back of the theater, which I feel is kind of common in magic acts. Like I have seen that thing before, never with my own eyes. Like you hear about people doing that, but not actually, you know, seeing it. So, um, you know, the whole show was, was, was nice. Um, the, the interaction with the audience was great. Matt Franco was definitely worth uh, the money. Uh, and it was it's now Richard's favorite thing. That's going to be it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did stick around through all of this, definitely like and subscribe because some somehow you like this type of content. So, you know, thank you. And I will see you guys back in New York. I think it's currently like 35 degrees. Adios. So when we came here, I saw this game, I didn't play it, so let me play it. There you go. So I'm gonna bet a dollar. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's all that I have. Okay, big money, big money. Oh, it yells at you. Okay, so what do I do? That's a good question. So I think I just hit... Oh no, so this is, this is how much I yeah. I bet. So let's hit return to game. I'm going to so let's hit 20 lines. So I'll do one. Okay. Then I'll do spin. 
game over. Okay. Spin again for another. Oh. Yeah, I might as well. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I think I want something. Yeah, you just got four. Okay, so what does that mean? Okay, so then let me do five, five lines again. I'll do spin. Nothing, huh? Okay. So five lines again, spin. Nothing. And as you can see, my money's going down. Alright, so we'll do one line again. One spin. What the hell? Alright, we'll do nine lines. Get fancy. Okay, I got Phase something Phase four. For maximum action, play all 20 lines. I don't know if you want to do that, but... One credit equals one cent. Okay, so we'll do five lines again. Spin. Nothing. 20 lines. What, why the hell not, right? Game pays 40. Oh, it's not happening. You just got 46 cents back. I, I got 46 cents back. Okay, how do I cash out? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> and do you want to cash out? No, 46 cents. I'm not going to do 46 cents. All right, we'll do 20 lines again, and we'll hit spin. Basically, you just want to make sure you spend all your money. We're now down to six cents. Now down to six cents. Okay, so uh, I, oh, look, now, now I'm limited. Now I'm going to do five. All right, let's try. Oh, wait, not even. Oh, not can do anything. Turn to game. Oh, I guess I'm going to do one thing now. Game over. Nothing. I still have four cents though. One line spent. I have two cents now. Nothing. One line spent. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Garbage. <laughs> 